First time I met Saquon Hampton was uh, at an orientation meeting um, that we had for football. He was uh, very slender, <laughs> um, skinny little guy. Well, he wasn't really little, but he was he was not uh, was not like somebody who would jump off the charts at you. His junior year, he became our starter uh, in the secondary, and that was the year we won our state championship. He single-handedly turned at least two games that I can recall around one of one being a game that we were losing. He took a, uh, a punt back, and that kind of just turned the whole momentum to, to our favor. Uh, more than one occasion, uh, you know, we're in the weight room or we're in the locker room or we're in the mingling as, as, as people. Hear him say, you know, I'm going to play in the NFL. I'm, uh, I'm going I'm to, this is, that's my dream. That's what I want to do. And then there, there are a few players that come through this program that, uh, that again, can equal Saquon Hampton in my book. Defended by Saquon Hampton. He's had a couple of very good. By Saquon Hampton for the second time today. Shout out my team back there. Rutgers grinding hard. Um, big season ahead for the young bulls. Look forward to seeing y'all grind and continue to work. What I like about Saquon is he plays the game fast. Uh, he's a physical player. He's got good ball skills. So he, he can tackle. Um, he can make plays on the ball. He can play in the middle of the field. I think he's an all-around defensive back that can do a number of things for a team in the NFL. Very high character. Um, can be trusted. He does the right thing. He surrounds himself with the right people. He's really concerned. What I really like about it, he's very concerned about being the best that he can be in all areas, athletically, academically, socially. Uh, he really developed to become a great leader for us, but he's a man of high character. He really became more confident and uh, he led by example. Uh, he was always one in the weight room working hard and straining. He was a great practice guy. He was always doing extra work. He was always coming in and studying films. So he was a real leader by example at an early age. But as he grew, matured, and became more confident, he became more of a vocal leader also. Kind of came out of a shell wasn't afraid to uh, address issues with other players and try to have good player-to-player -player accountability. Uh, so he really matured and developed in a lot of areas as a leader and it started with him just taking care of his own responsibility and doing everything he could to be the best that he could be. I, I just absolutely love Saquon. I've been around some outstanding players and, and uh, defensive backs. I think he's right up there with some of the best that I've had just because he's the total package. He's not just a great player, just a great person. He's a combination and he works so hard uh, to be the best he can be and just wants to prove people uh, that he belongs and uh, prove his doubters uh, wrong. So I, I wish him nothing but the best of luck. Uh, I'm glad I got a chance to coach him and be around him and I'm really looking forward uh, to his future and very excited about what he becomes and develops down the road.
a lot of discipline. I mean, you're waking up each and every day trying to improve your draft stock. So it requires a different type of mindset and a different type of mentality when you're going about it. It's going to be the same hand throughout. From a mile away, you had to. <laughs> How you feeling? I feel good, man. You were smooth, though, bro. Yeah, I feel good. That's what they were saying. They were doing all the balls high. Mm -hmm. they, was, they was making me mad with them more than there. On purpose, though? They did nah, they was just making errors. They were just going. Like, I was just like, dang, man. Come on, they messing up my drill work. <laughs> yeah, but y'all making shape. Yeah, it's all good, though. Yeah, all the ones that was on, right to me, I caught some. Yeah. Went up and got it. You said everything you mm -hmm. were supposed to do. Yeah. Easy work. What a day. We relieved though, like. Yeah, yo. Finally, all this. Yeah. We finally just play ball this. now. Finally just play ball. So I'm just putting this belt pack right on your belt. Hmm? Yeah, I'll show you. Yeah, okay. You hear it? All right. If you need the volume adjusted, let me know. Or should I make some of it rare? You can do this. Let me know when you want me to bring Snake one out. This is the poster boy for that. We sleep it on H.A. Green to potentially break up season with a new coach. I hope so. And we will when men, uh, welcome, sorry, Saquon Hampton to the show. Under the radar prospects. Okay. Moving up the draft boards out of Rutgers. Are the you? Table here. Next. Go from Saquon to Rich Homie Club. That's coming, baby. So are we getting excited? Are we getting a little nervous? <laughs> How did you guys feel? Uh, yeah? Yeah. 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 Welcome back to Good Morning Football. We are now joined by a 2019 NFL draft prospect whose stock's been shooting up the charts. Homer oh, Hazel. What up, Juan? Thank you all for having me. Man, course, appreciate man. you coming, man. Looking good, laid back. Laid I like back, the vibe. Man. I'll be like you. Hey, man. Yeah. Uh, man. Perseverance. Like, when, when, uh, when adversity strikes, I know how to end it. So mm -hmm. I think that's an advantage that I have. We love seeing you here on the show. We know that a lot of the GMs, the owners, the coaches, the players, they're all watching right now. So yes. why don't you look into that camera, Saquon, and tell okay. owners and GMs and teams and fans what they're getting if they draft Saquon Hampton. Drafting Saquon Hampton, you're getting a guy that's versatile. You're getting a guy that can play single high in the box, or you can put him out in the slot and play man. You're also getting a guy with good character and high IQ. You're getting a guy that values more than just defense and values special teams and wants to excel in that phase of the game as well. Appreciate that. I appreciate y'all for having me. Of course, man. We need a gram photo of you two side by side. I was already planning it the whole time you were talking. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
are not respecting right now in the league. Hey, hey, turn that down, turn it down, turn it down. Hello? Hello? Yeah, the Saquon. How you doing? I'm doing good, how are you? I'm with the family. In New Jersey. Yes, sir. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. All right, outstanding. So uh, we'll put you on the phone with our GM, Mickey Loomis. And in about two minutes, you're going to become a saint, all right? Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm honored to announce the 177th pick of the National Football League draft. The New Orleans Saints pick Saquon Hampton. The defense of that, the Rockets. Congratulations. excited. Um, it's like a dream come true for my son and myself. My son has been a hard worker from the very beginning and I'm just lost for words right now. It's, it's 
it's everything I've wanted for him. He has it and to see him so happy with people that love him, to be crying um, and to be in the moment is just, it's everything that I wanted for him and I, and I, I can not state um, how excited I, I am for him and, and just how much I look forward to, you know, cheering him on uh, in New Orleans. Oh, I'm going to go to every game, away, home, it doesn't even matter. I'm going to be there to support my son from the beginning to the end. It's a very special day and both deserve a lot of years of work together, so congratulations. And before we let you go, we do have a phrase down here. It's our rally cry uh, down in New Orleans, really the whole Gulf South has a change today. We need, to, we need you to give us a big hoot at, and we need to hear it loud and strong. Give us a little taste of what we're getting from St. Juan Hampton. Yes, sir. Who that? Road trips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but road trips to New Orleans. We have it back. Two. Say so.